Number 10, A Whisker Away, Mayo Sasaki is an energetic high school girl who comes from a broken family consisting of her unconfident father and an overly invested stepmother, whose attempts at connecting with Mayo come across as bothersome. Seeing Kento Hinode as a refuge from all her personal issues, she can't help herself from forcing her unorthodox demonstrations of love onto her crush. While Mayo is unable to get Kento's attention as herself, she manages to succeed by interacting with him in the form of a white cat, affectionately nicknamed Teru by Kento. But Mayo soon realizes that she can't help Kento with the various problems she overhears in her cat form and is now caught between two tough choices. Will she continue her relationship with him as a cat, or will she reveal her identity and risk what they have, in order to help him as her human self? Number 9, Words Bubble Up Like Soda Pop, Yui, Cherry, Sakura expresses himself better through the haiku he writes and posts on the internet, even though no one gives it attention. While preparing for him and his family to relocate in August, he spends the summer working part-time at a welfare facility. Meanwhile, Yuki, Smile, Hashino is a budding influencer who wants everyone to smile. However, she feels uneasy about the braces on her protruding front teeth and conceals her own smile using a disposable mask. After an accidental encounter with Cherry, Smile finds herself becoming a part-time worker at the same facility as him. Soon, the two assist a senile man, Fujiyama, in searching an old vinyl record he owns. Unable to remember its last location, he wishes to listen to it once more before his memories fade for good. Cherry and Smile only have the record sleeve and the word Yamazakura as clues, and their hunt in the hazy summer heat begins. Number 8, Hello World, the year is 2027, and the city of Kyoto has undergone tremendous technological advancement. Within the city lives Naomi Katagaki, a socially awkward and introverted boy with a love for books, and Ruri Achichu, a girl with a cold personality who is often blunt with people, but shares his love for reading. Despite having similar interests, Naomi is afraid to approach Ruri due to her unfriendly nature. One day, as Naomi goes out for a walk, a crimson aurora pierces through the sky for a brief moment before vanishing. Shortly after, he sees a three-legged crow and a mysterious hooded man who reveals himself to be Naomi from ten years in the future, explaining that he has come to change an imminent tragic event that happens to Ruri shortly after they start dating. Initially taking his words with a grain of salt, present-day Naomi follows his future self's instructions and starts getting closer to Ruri, determined to save her. Hello World focuses on the present Naomi alongside himself from 10 years into the future. With the help of his future self, Naomi begins his preparations to save Ruri. Will he be able to change the future? Number 7, Patima Inverted, Patima is a plucky young girl from an underground civilization boasting an incredible network of tunnels inspired by a friend that mysteriously went missing, she is often reprimanded due to her constant excursions of these tunnels due to her royal status. After she enters what is known as the Forbidden Zone, she accidentally falls into a giant bottomless pit after being startled by a strange creature, finding herself on the surface, a world literally turned upside down. She begins falling towards the sky only to be saved by Age, a discontented student of the totalitarian nation known as Aga. The people of Aga are taught to believe that, inverts, like Patima, are sinners that will be swallowed by the sky, but Age has resisted this propaganda and decides to protect his new friend. A chance meeting between two curious teenagers leads to an exploration of two unique worlds as they begin working together to unveil the secrets of their origins in Sakasama no Patima. A heartwarming film about overcoming differences in order to coexist. Number 6, When Marnie was there, suffering from frequent asthma attacks, young Anna Sasaki is quiet, unsociable, and isolated from her peers, causing her foster parent endless worry. Upon recommendation by the doctor, Anna is sent to the countryside, in hope that the cleaner air and more relaxing lifestyle will improve her health and help clear her mind. 
Engaging in her passion for sketching, Anna spends her summer days living with her aunt and uncle in a small town near the sea, one day while wandering outside. Anna discovers an abandoned mansion known as the Marsh House. However, she soon finds that the residence isn't as vacant as it appears to be, running into a mysterious girl named Marnie. Marnie's bubbly demeanor slowly begins to draw Anna out of her shell as she returns night after night to meet with her new friend. But it seems there is more to the strange girl than meets the eye, as her time in the town nears its end, Anna begins to discover the truth behind the walls of the Marsh House. Omoid no Marnie tells the touching story of a young girl's journey through self-discovery and friendship, and the summer that she will remember for the rest of her life. Number 5, Liz and the Blue Bird, Liz's days of solitude come to an end when she meets a blue bird in the form of a young girl. Although their relationship blossoms, Liz must make a heart-wrenching decision in order to truly realize her love for Blue Bird. High school seniors and close friends Mizor Yoroizuka and Nozomi Kasaki are tasked to play the lead instruments in the third movement of Liz and the Blue Bird, a concert band piece inspired by this fairy tale. The introverted and reserved Mizor plays the oboe, representing the kind and gentle Liz. Meanwhile, the radiant and popular Nozomi plays the flute, portraying the cheerful and energetic Blue Bird. However, as they rehearse, the distance between Mizor and Nozomi seems to grow. Their disjointed duet disappoints the band, and with graduation on the horizon, uncertainty about the future spurs complicated emotions. With little time to improve as their performance draws near, they desperately attempt to connect with their respective characters. But when Mizor and Nozomi consider the story from a brand new perspective, will the girls find the strength to face harsh realities? A spin-off film adaptation of the High Bike Euphonium series, Liz to Aoi Tori dances between the parallels of a charming fairy tale, a moving musical piece. Number 4, The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, Makoto Kano is in her last year of high school, but is having a hard time deciding what to do with her future. In between enduring the pressure of her teachers and killing time with her best friends, Makoto's life suddenly changes when she accidentally discovers that she is capable of literally leaping through time, this anime follow Makoto as she plays around with her newfound power. However, she soon learns the hard way that every choice has a consequence, and time is a lot more complicated than it may seem. Number 3, In This Corner of the World, Suzu Ureno is a pure and kind-hearted girl who loves to draw and keep her head in the clouds. Growing up in the outskirts of Hiroshima with her family, she is more than happy to help with her grandmother's nori business. However, when she becomes of age, Suzu leaves her beloved home to marry Shisaku Huju, a man she barely knows. As she integrates into her new husband's household, the homesick bride struggles to adjust to the unfamiliar environment as the war effort extends far beyond its point of no return. When the war reaches Suzu's own backyard and peace gives way to brutality, how will she support herself and those she comes to love along the way? Kono Sekai no Katasumi Ni paints a colorful yet haunting depiction of everyday life in the years before and after World War II, showcasing the perseverance and fortitude of ordinary Japanese during one of the darkest periods of modern history. Number 2, Weathering With You, Tokyo is currently experiencing rain showers that seem to disrupt the usual pace of everyone living there to no end. Amidst this seemingly eternal downpour arrives the runaway high school student Hodaka Morishima, who struggles to financially support himself, ending up with a job at a small-time publisher. At the same time, the orphan Hina Amano also strives to find work to sustain herself and her younger brother. Both fates intertwine when Hodaka attempts to rescue Hina from shady men, deciding to run away together. Subsequently, Hodaka discovers that Hina has a strange yet astounding power, the ability to call out the sun whenever she prays for it. With Tokyo's unusual weather in mind, Hodaka sees the potential of this ability. He suggests that Hina should become a sunshine girl, someone who will clear the sky for people when they need it the most. Things begin looking up for them at first. However, it is common knowledge that power always comes with a hefty price.
Number 2, Jose, The Tiger and the Fish, a youth romantic drama with themes of growing up, the story focuses on college student Sunio and dreamer Jose, who lives her life stuck in a wheelchair. Jose, named after the heroine in Francoise Sagan's Wonderful Clouds, spends most of her days reading and painting until by chance she encounters Sunio, and decides it's time to face the real world.